Here's problem 3526. The index of refraction for red light in water is 1.331, and for blue light it's 1.340. If a ray of white light enters the water at an angle of incidence of 83 degrees, what are the underwater angles of refraction for the blue and red components of the light? All right, so we have a white light that's incident, which contains all the frequencies of the visible light, red and blue included. And then we have an index of refraction for red light, that's 1.331, and one for blue light, that is 1.340. All right, so let's look at this problem. Here's our interface. We're going from an index of refraction of 1.0 to water where red light has an index of refraction of 1.331 and blue light has an index of refraction of 1.340. As we look at this interface with an angle of incidence of 83 degrees, we are going to have two angles of refraction. One for red light, kind of bent towards the normal, and one for blue light, bent towards the normal as well. I'm going to draw them like this, uh, we'll, but we'll find out which one is actually bent more towards the normal in just a moment. So Snell's Law will apply for both of these wavelengths of light. In particular, N1 sine theta 1 will equal N2 sine theta 2. We want to find theta 2. So theta 2 will be the inverse sine of n1 over n2 sine theta 1. All right, so for the red light, we'll have a theta 2, excuse me, equal to the inverse sine of n1, which is the air, over the index of refraction of red light in water, which is 1.331 sine incident, incident angle of 83 degrees. So if I calculate this, 1.0 divided by 1.331 times the sine of 83 degrees, inverse sine of all that, 48.22 degrees. So that is the angle of refraction for the red light, 48.22 degrees. For the blue light, theta 2 will be the inverse sine of index 1, 1 1.0, over the index of refraction of the blue light in water, 1.340. We have the same incident angle because it's white light coming in. So that's going to give us what? Forty-seven point seven nine degrees. So the blue light has a smaller angle of refraction than the red light. So in other words, it's bent closer to the normal than the red light is. So the way I drew this um, is correct. That the blue light is closer to the normal than the red light. It's bent more than the red light from its original direction.